Good morning and welcome back to Craig's Custom Cooking. Today I'm going to make a skillet breakfast. It's going to have potatoes, green peppers, well probably yellow and red peppers, some onion, and some chopped up bacon. And we're going to scramble the eggs, we're going to assemble the whole thing, and we're going to coat it with cheese on top. So come with me and let me show you a delicious breakfast. All right, I've already got some of my potatoes cut up here. And I'm going to show you how I do it. I just cut off both ends. That way it'll stand up. And then I cut them at about half inch slabs. Now we're going to lay these down. We're going to cut them a half inch this way. We're going to try to reassemble them here. Well, I'm not going to waste any time on that. We just take these and then we cut them a half inch this way. All my potatoes. I'm going to take these, rinse them off real good, put them in a pan with some salt, and I'm going to boil them for about 10 minutes until they soften up some. And I'll bring you back. All right, I got my potatoes on here with salt water. They're starting to come to a boil. I'm going to boil them for between 5 and 10 minutes, depending on how tender you want them when you cook them. We're going to cook them a little bit more, but... I'll I'll go by feel. And then here I have my Smithfield bacon. So I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna say four slices of this. Now I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut these into well, there's a potato that escaped. I'm gonna cut these into fairly good sized chunks because we're gonna fry them up. So what I'm going to do is take my cast iron skillet. I'm going to put all my bacon on it. All right, I'm going to fire off this burner. I'm going to set it on medium. And then we'll brown this up. And I'll bring you back. All right, as you can see, my potatoes are boiling. My bacon has browned up nicely. It's in between soft and really crunchy. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to let it drain on a paper towel line plate. We're going to use this later. But we're also going to save all this bacon grease because we're going to use it later on. I like the bacon grease. It gives it a really nice flavor. So I'm going to reuse this. I'm going to turn this off right now, move it to the back of my stove because I don't need it for a couple minutes. I'm going to take a wooden skewer. And if I can hold one of my potatoes still, they're done. So I'm going to drain these right now. All right, so I drained them, run them under cold water. Now I have them in my pan, cool down. All right, so now shut my range hood off. We're going to take the potatoes and I'm going to spread them out on a paper towel lined cookie sheet to let them dry. And to be honest with you, I only boiled these for five minutes. If I had to boil them for 10, they'd have been. We're going to be making mashed potatoes out of them. So depending on the type of potato, how small you cut them, it's, it's all going to depend. You, you have to do it by eye. And by sticking up a wooden skewer or something, toothpick, anything in it. That's how you know if they're where you want them to be. Welcome back. I'm going to try to cook two things here at one time. 
In this pan, I'm going to cook my onions and my peppers. In this pan, I'm going to make my scrambled eggs. I'm going to try to do them simultaneously. This will take longer than this. So let me start this off and put it on a five. I'm going to start this one. And I'm going to put it on a medium low. I'm just going to let them come up to temperature. Okay, so on this side I have my bacon grease left over when I fried my bacon. I'm going to add my onions. This is one chopped onion. And this is a yellow, orange, and red half of a bell pepper. Each one of them is a half. I'll put that in my pan. We're going to get that moving around. We're going to get these cooking real good. Now in this pan, I sprayed it with, with Pam. It's supposed to be a non-stick frying pan, but it's, it's past its years. So it's, it's seen better days. It's not so much non-stick anymore. What I'm going to do is let these heat up, and what I have in here is six eggs, full eggs, salt, pepper, and heavy whipping cream. I use heavy whipping cream in my scrambled eggs. Some people will use milk, some people use water, some people don't use anything at all. So, this is just my scrambled eggs here. And as these start to heat up, I'm going to go from the middle, and I'm just going to start scraping the bottom of the pan. So whatever has already turned into egg, or scrambled eggs, will move to the middle. And I just keep going around my pan. Now if you try to do this on too high of a heat, it's just going to stick on you. See how they start to stick to the bottom of the pan? This pan is, it's past its prime, but we'll get through it. I'm going to try a different spatula. I think this will work better. As I can scrape these eggs off the bottom, and then we're going to turn these over. I'm going to try to get as much of this I can off the bottom. The main thing is we don't want this to burn. Now I'm going to go in, and I'm going to start breaking up my eggs. Turn this heat down a little. All right, so my eggs are done. I'm gonna turn them off. I'm gonna move them to the back. Now these, I, I'm happy with these. I think they're done. So I'm gonna turn this off. And I'm gonna put these on a plate. We're gonna bring these back later. So here's my pan. Put that aside. Now, to this pan, we're going to add butter and olive oil, and we're going to cook our potatoes. I'm going to turn my heat on to medium. I'm going to add two tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. We're going to let that melt down. And I have some very nice Italian organic olive oil I'm going to put in here too. This will help the butter from burning. That's about a two, tea, two tablespoons. All right, so we got our butter melted down. Now we're going to take our potatoes. <laughs> we're going to put our potatoes in the pan. These are the ones that are already been parboiled. 
So we're going to get these in our pan. We're going to start browning them up. We want to try to get them as much to a single layer as we can. So they're in contact with the pan. We're going to start browning these on all sides. Now, depending on how brown you want them, if you want them crunchy, you just keep cooking them longer. If you want them just brown on the edges, then you cook them a lesser time. It all depends on you. I am going to add a little bit of salt. Not a ton, just a little bit. I'm going to add some ground black pepper. All right, now I'm going to take a spatula. We're going to start turning these over. All right, we're going to keep browning them until they get to your desired doneness. All right, I'm really happy with the way my potatoes are turning out. You can see they're getting browned. They're not burnt. They're not falling all apart. So now we're going to start adding all of our other ingredients in here. So we're going to add back in our onions and peppers. Gonna add in our scrambled eggs. And our bacon. Now, we'll take a spatula, start turning everything. All right, now I'm going to turn this off. Once my wife gets up, We'll have breakfast. There's one more surprise I'm going to add to this at the end. So I'll bring you back. All right. I got my breakfast all heated back up here again on low. So I'm going to spread it out. And I'm going to put cheddar cheese. and mozzarella cheese on top. I'm going to cover it. Just let the heat and the moisture melt the cheese down. And I'll bring you back. All right, so here we are. It's done. I'm going to put it on the table. We'll see you at the table. I'm going to serve it in this pan. I'm not going to put it on a special plate. So it's, it's going to be served out of this cast iron skillet. Welcome to our channel. This is the breakfast that I made for us on Saturday morning. It's got eggs, bacon, potatoes, 
green peppers, well, not green peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers, and orange peppers. It's got onion, and I forgot one important thing, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to put chives on top that I picked out of our garden fresh this morning. So, the chives will go on top. So, um, do you, you want some? Yeah, please. You can see it's still steaming. It's very hot. It's got a lot of stretch on the cheese. Thank you. Ooh, that's a lot. A try. Mm -hmm. Cheese is still hot. It's probably both all still hot. So. Mm. Very good. I like this combination. It's got a little bit of everything in it. Mm -hmm. It's really, really hot yet. creamy. I like it. I put a lot of work into the potatoes there. What did you do? I had to cut them or peel or I didn't peel them. I cut them up. Mm -hmm. I boiled them for five minutes. Oh, okay. Then I fried them in the pan. Mm -hmm. And then every, when everything's ready, you put them back in again and fry them. Mm -hmm. so. A very good combination. I've been looking for something like this for a long time. It, it combines all the different things that you get at a restaurant. Yeah, I think I ordered a similar things before in the restaurant, but what you made is better. It's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, is there anything else you want to add? I strongly recommend this recipe. And it's a very good combination with meat and vegetable and protein. And it's it's a very good recipe for brunch. Yeah. yeah. Like and it, it is, uh, it's 11.14 right now. So mm -hmm. it, it is brunch for us. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. Hit the like button and the bell for future notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. You have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.